There's always those days at school that you unanimously and universally hated by everyone and their mother. Test days, presentation days, Monday through Fridays. But once in every blue moon, there would be those days that actually didn't make me want to front flip onto the concrete from a rooftop. Now even though these days might be more rare than father figures in the lives of OnlyFans thoughts, they were most definitely some of the best days of my adolescent life. School is one of the last places that you would expect to actually be elated, but these few exceptions made it worth the while. So today... We'll be discussing some of the most momentous and nostalgic school events and experiences as well as the memorable sentiments that they generate. Comment down below your favorite school event and like and subscribe if you're new. First we gotta talk about field day. Probably one of the only things I actually put energy into when it came to school. Me and my niggas were treating that shit like the fucking Summer Olympics, bro. We was really out there looking like the 2013 heat. But in all seriousness, field day was an elite experience. There was something so rewarding about being able to spend a day away from all the worksheets and spelling tests. And no matter how early in the morning that we had field day, it was always misty and hotter than my PlayStation after 5 minutes of use. I know y'all remember those potato sack races. If I'm being honest, I don't even think that our school is supposed to be having this competition because these niggas were out there falling down more than some fucking bowling pins, bro. Like I swear, nobody would end up winning these races because everybody Everybody would end up busting their ass on the ground. But what was also crazy was the fact that the finish line was farther than Chris Middleton's hairline. Like there was no way they expected our tiny ass legs to travel across this extensive distance. I honestly didn't find anything appealing about potato sack races. So every time this event was going on, I just sat my ass on the bench like Jordan Poole in the playoffs. But one event that I did partake in was a three-legged race. This was similar to the potato sack race except we're tied together like we're cosplaying cat dog or something. And I swear I would always get paired up with the most uncoordinated motherfuckers on planet earth. Like these niggas were moving like a newborn giraffe bro. One time I was paired up with this motherfucker that was built like Baymax and half the time I would end up getting dragged like the cans on the back of a married couple's car. And then there would always be that cooler full of ice pops that come in those fishnets. It was just something about those popsicles that was like a fucking sensu bean bro. But if you were a real nigga you waited for it to melt and then take the whole thing to the head, pause, like a shot of alcohol. But I hated when that sharp ass plastic would turn the sides of my mouth to sliced lunch meat. Also shout out to those fruit juice barrels that were some of the most exquisite and stimulating beverages back then. And then by far the best part of field day was tug of war. This is when the men were separated from the boys. Our school separated us evenly both guys and girls on the same team. But Luckily for us, we had Baymax on our team and he carried us to victory. Like, bro, that us could have just tied the rope around his waist and leaned back like Fat Joe. But the game I used to dominate in was Jump the Brook. I was out there looking like Carl Lewis. But the worst part about field day is that after serving everybody else a can of whoop ass, we got a weak ass participation ribbon. Like, I get they don't want anybody to feel bad or left out, but fuck that. Get your fitness up, my nigga. Plus, there was always a kid who was crying for absolutely no reason. Now we gotta talk about class parties. One of the most infamous events to have ever been bestowed upon students. Now sometimes our class would have these out of nowhere, but most of the time we had to fill out a fucking reading log or something. I'm not gonna lie, I think this was my deceitful and misleading tendencies initiated. I was writing books I knew nothing about. Niggas was in the fifth grade writing down To Kill a Mockingbird, 1984, Hamlet, and my hollow-headed teacher never bad an eye. But anyways, I think everybody knows how prestigious these paltry parties were. They would hype up these parties like a fucking Drake album, bro. The lore behind these parties was insane. And then once the day would come, the teacher would try and divide one box of pizza amongst the classroom 30 kids. She was dead ass dividing these slices of pizza like Moses did the Red Sea. And then got the nerve to say we can't get seconds. My nigga, I don't know who you think you're feeding with these grasshopper portions, but it's not me. Like, I get that you have multiple classes to feed, but these steward little ass servings are ridiculous. And then they always had the clear plastic cups with some type of peculiar punch that was the driest liquid known to man. Like, how the fuck is the juice dry, bro? But sometimes they would have these sugar cookies or some variety of chips. And then the teacher would never fail to mention that they paid for all this food out their own pocket. And then they would always play The Incredibles or some other Pixar movie. But overall, class parties were top tier and are forever ingrained in the convoluted entity that is my mind. Now we gotta talk about the book fair. Out of everything that will be met throughout this video, book fairs are probably top two, if not one. The promotion around these book fairs was real. I know y'all remember the little pamphlets that held all the books on them. Me and my niggas were talking about which books we were gonna get, like KD picking his next team. I hope I'm not the only person who was begging their parents for hella money to go on a fucking shopping spree, but they would end up giving me like ten dollars for a book. But if we're being hundred percent honest with ourselves, we know damn well niggas weren't going to the book fair to actually get books. My nigga, we were trying to get the scented pencils, iPhone erasers, and finger pointers. Now don't get me wrong, the book fair had some heat. Captain Underpants, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Guinness Book of World Records. Goose Bumps, Ripley's Believe It or Not, the Lego dictionaries that would always have a figure missing. But why would I spend money on books I can check out at the school library for free? They act like these were some exclusive, never before seen books. My nigga, there's eight copies of this book on shelf B39. So we was buying everything but books from the book fair, bro. Bookmarks, invisible ink pens, posters, and those always the rich kid who would buy the entire fucking inventory like Mr. Beast or something. Except them niggas showed no remorse and kept everything for themselves instead of giving it to other people. Now we gotta talk about the days where we go to the computer lab. Before all you niggas were sneaking Nintendo Switches into class like food in a movie. 
movie theater we had the computer lab to play games on i'm pretty sure the teachers just sent us into the computer lab when they didn't feel like teaching now before our school district decided to nuke damn near every website off the face of the earth we actually had access to different websites cool math games needs absolutely no introduction this is the michael jackson of gaming sites absolutely no misses i've never seen a group of people more competitive than the niggas in my class playing run i was really in the computer lab concentrating hard as hell like my life was on the line and then once they had added run 2 with the little ice skates they had the world in a fucking chokehold bro fire boy and water girl needs no introduction either one of the pioneers of multiplayer computer games i remember me and my homies would play each level over and over trying to get an a on every one and collect those fake ass chaos emeralds i'm not even gonna lie not only did this game really teach niggas about cooperation it also helped me with anger management because the amount of times i wanted to drop kick my homie for swan diving into the opposite element was over 9,000. like we'd be right on the verge of being the level and this nigga wants to try and make an impossible jump and ends up dying we all remember the papa's cooking games this shit had more spin-offs than the saw franchise i used to be on their bullshit and making the complete opposite of what the customer orders to see the reaction but the other people in my class thought they were fucking julia child and took that shit way too seriously but probably my favorite game to play in the computer lab was duck life i was playing this game from the start of class until the end of it i was putting in that motherfucking work bro i was constantly upgrading my duck like i was playing cyberpunk or something the only thing that sucked was that i could never get too far into the game because we always ran out of time but then they tarnished my nigga forever and turned bro into a furry whoever came up with this idea needs to be terminated urgently and if you watch this video then you know how significant pop tropical was the last website i'm gonna mention is fun brain i remember trying to speed run all these games in like 10 minutes now we gotta talk about movie days i usually movie days in class for sensational i don't really care about what movie was playing because it's a day away from actual school work but the reason i use the word usually is because there'll be times where they would try to give us a fucking worksheet with questions to answer along the way and half the time the questions weren't even in chronological order my nigga i'm not trying to play hide and go seek with the fucking questions bro like what's the point of letting us watch a movie for us to try and listen out for the answers it's not even fun at that point anymore but we all know the jubilation that we felt when the teacher would wheel in that tv the elmo projectors and smart boards are cool and all but there was something different about walking into class and seeing these minecraft built ass tvs but it wasn't even restricted to just movies we had brain pop bill nye the magic school bus amoeba sisters mythbusters all these niggas tell me more than my teacher ever could i also want to give a shout out to kahoot kahoot is one of the only things i can get the entire class to participate but then the teacher would threaten to stop the game because niggas were giving themselves the most perplexing names hugh g rection bend over dixie normus these niggas had no shame in their game but i'll be lying if i told you i wasn't crying laughing when the teacher would say kimmy head has an answer streak of five but the best part about kahoot was actually winning walking up to the front of the class after winning a match to get your reward is like walking the damn red carpet at the oscars i'm the most humble nigga on the planet but winning kahoot is a different type of feeling and i take full pride in that shit bro but this game brought out the evil in people there were niggas trying to sabotage by yelling out the wrong answer intentionally and these naive niggas would believe them but i ain't gonna lie when i get an answer wrong and my screen turns more red than jr smith's eyes i'm ready to hide my phone like a disloyal husband and then half the time my screen would freeze and i wouldn't be able to lock in my answer until my beard looks like dumbledore's but i think it's gonna wrap everything up for this video man comment down below your favorite school memory your favorite school event any, any nostalgic school memory you know do, do what you want bro um, i got control of you do what you want like subscribe if you're new join the family um we gonna be more consistent bro I, i'm literally we gonna be posting more consistently dropping key dropping bangers 2023 takeover is still in full effect baby you know what i'm saying but if y'all see my community post you know what i'm saying i kind of i kind of went into a little bit more depth about you know what I'm saying what's been going on how i've been feeling but you know what I'm saying we here to stay man we ain't got no excuses we here to stay we here for good we gonna keep putting out these bangers for the rest of the year man thank y'all for all the love y'all been showing man real shit it's just been crazy thank y'all for watching you made this end of the video or, or if you didn't thank you for watching thank y'all for rocking with me i hope this video finds you with good spirits i'm g grimy it's been real i'm out i love y'all peace